In Fiji and if that isn't great enough we found this amazing island uh, called Navini here in Fiji and I almost hate to tell you about it because it is truly paradise within paradise it's a small island um, we can walk around the entire island in 10 minutes um, no joke uh, it's very small there's 10 bourrees for guests meaning there's a maximum of 30 people here and since we've been here um, generally there's been between 15 and 20 guests uh, more on the 15 side than the 20 believe it or not so we have felt like we have had our own private island it's been absolutely incredible and I just want to show you the bourre there's nothing real special here pretty basic accommodations because you're outside all the time but here take a look pretty basic but uh, very functional and we'll just go right in and take a little tour uh, you come in here and this is where the girls are sleeping uh, there's just two single beds there we did no cleaning up for you sorry about that and then you come back here and there is a bathroom turn the light on here uh, with a shower which is nice and back here is more of a private uh, bedroom and this is where we're staying so Plain, simple, no air condition. Um, we have the ocean breeze to cool us down at night, which has been just wonderful. A um, few closets here, forgot to mention, uh, to hang up our stuff. But that's it, that's all you need. You live outdoors here, and um, you really don't need too much. Just a bed to lay your head at night, because you're pretty exhausted. And then uh, you're outside all day, enjoying the weather. So we've been on Navini for a little bit now and it's definitely been, um, I think, one of the highlights of the trip so far. Um, each morning at around 9 or 9.30 we go out on an excursion and so we've done snorkeling at a lot of different places. Um, I think my favorite was probably the Special Reef. They had a lot of really beautiful coral and um, some really brightly colored fish going around. Um, I got to see um, clownfish and there was a big school of squid that went by and it was just really beautiful. Um, some of the other places we visited were Sand Key, um, which is actually just, it's an island that's literally just sand. It's just like a big, it looks like a sand castle or something that just popped right out of the ocean. And um, Honeymoon Island was another one. And Honeymoon Island itself, we didn't get to go on it, but it's actually just an island full of rocks. And I believe there are six mountain goats that live on the island. Just six, no humans, just the mountain goats. Um, but the snorkeling there was pretty cool too. Um, we saw a big shark, we saw um, some cool fish, and um, just lots of fun snorkeling on this trip. So we are going to where tonight? We are going to dinner, but it's a traditional Fijian lovo, which in Fijian, the word lovo means oven. So basically our dinner tonight is gonna be cooked in a lovo, which is an earthen oven. So it's like they dig a hole and they put some hot coals under there and that's how our meal's prepared. So we're kind of excited about it actually. This is why I bring her along. She knows what we're doing, where we're going and what we're about to see. So we'll, uh, have you join us. Apparently there's some dancing afterwards, so we're kind of excited about that as well. I'll be behind the camera. Um, Eden is especially excited about that. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> so the rest of us might be behind the camera and watching Eden. So we'll see. Because these, oh, we have to wear Sulu's. That's a requirement, by the way. These are Sulu. And um, we're told that it's if not you're not- a dress. We're told that if you're not careful that uh, it might fall off during the dancing, so. I hope not. You might get more than you bargained for tonight. Yes. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
Today we've been doing two things. First we got to sample some coconut and um, both Dumu and Onisimo got raw coconuts for us and cut them for us right in front of us and they used what we all think is a machete but uh, they informed us that it in fact is not a machete but it's a K-knife and they also said that they learn to use the K-knife when they're about seven years old. So we all laughed about that thinking there's not a chance that we would ever want our seven-year-olds to have any sort of a long knife in their hands. But um, anyway, it's been a really cool morning. We sampled the coconut, uh, coconut water that came out of the green coconuts and then we also were able to eat the raw coconut that came out as well. So it was really delightful. Then the other thing that we've been doing is making baskets out of uh, coconut palm leaves which is really amazing actually. Dumu said that he could probably make one in two minutes and um, or no that was Onisimo who said that and uh, Dumo said that he actually learned how to make these baskets when he was 10 and he learned how to make them from his granddad. They said that the baskets that we're making today are man baskets meaning that um, they would actually if they were out in a field and they were harvesting like a crop of some sort and they didn't have a basket with them they would just uh, use their knife or maybe a machete if they had one and they would take down a coconut palm leaf and they would just craft a basket on the spot to use to carry the crops back to their homes. So anyway, um, so far it's been pretty cool but I will say it's not been very easy. So Onisimo and Dumo are making it look super easy but it is not. There is French braiding involved and it's amazing. So, so we just got done with our basket weaving and as you can see um, the basket turned out pretty good. Um, it's able to hold, I think I have like five books in here. It's made out of a coconut leaf, which is surprisingly strong. Um, except for we didn't actually really make this basket. Um, each of us put little bits and pieces of work into it, but um, in the end, um, the staff had to kind of fix everything because um, we made it too loose or we were bending it the wrong way and we were braiding it wrong. Um, yeah, it's definitely a uh, harder than I thought it would be and um, one of the guys said he could make one in two minutes and I think it took us an hour and a half just to do this and they had to fix it anyways so um, it was fun though I'm glad we did it and um, now we kind of know how to make baskets So right now I am walking down the familiar path from our bure to the kitchen area where we've been eating every breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I just have to say that um, Navini has been an amazing space. We typically don't really like to visit the same place more than maybe once or twice, um, but this place is special and I think that we would love to come back here. Gosh, if we had the means, we'd come back here again and again. So. It's been awesome. We have really enjoyed our stay here on Navini. Uh, it's going to hold a special place in our heart. Uh, for the rest of our lives and the reason why is yeah it's beautiful I mean Fiji itself is, is a beautiful place but the staff here made us feel so much like a part of their family and as you know if you ever had those type of experiences it makes a world of difference I mean they knew our names the first day we got here they knew our kids names um, all that but we got to know their names too and within the first couple of days again it was just a great family atmosphere um, one thing I did want to mention is that during meal times they come down and call the island 
uh, everyone on the island to dinner or to lunch uh, by playing these drums or this drum. And again, they allow kids to participate in that if they want to. And it just is a part of the homey feel that they've created here on the Vini. This will hold a special place in our heart for many, many years to come. And we can't thank uh, everyone here enough for making that experience happen. Uh, we sure appreciate you guys being a part of our Fam4 family and watching our videos. Uh, we always appreciate a thumbs up if you're willing. And we'd love for you to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. We have a lot more videos, travel videos coming your way. And if you enjoy our family travel channel, uh, feel free to subscribe. We'd love that. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on the Fantastic Four.